Thanks for checking out this video. So this is one of my, uh, I was going to say weekly, but I don't know if I'm going to actually be doing these weekly, but basically one of my opinion videos that I've started to do. And um, sometimes like this one, it's not going to be so much as an, a strongly worded opinion one side or the other. Uh, something I like to do a lot of times is when I see a topic that I choose a side on, I have a tendency to make my initial reaction and think, okay, that's what I think, that's what I would go with, but then also try and think from the other side and see what other arguments are out there and kind of consider things from that side. So uh, I want to present both sides of things because I can see validity to both of them. So if you clicked on this one, you already know that this has to do with the whole Richard Stanley situation recently that blew up. Now, if you're not 100% familiar with that, I'm not gonna get into a lot of details on it. You can read about it plenty online, but Richard Stanley, who had originally done uh, the Island of Dr. Moreau and then and had done Hardware and Dust Devil, uh, had spent time not doing film for quite a while because of how horrible things went with the Island of Dr. Moreau. And there's a whole documentary about that called like Lost Soul, the doomed, uh, the doomed journey of Richard Stanley's Island of Dr. Moreau. It's a very long title, but I think it might still be on Shutter. You can check for that. Good documentary. So based off that and based off the fact that, you know, I know that his, I've seen Dust Devil before as a good film. I haven't seen Hardware yet though. Um, I do need to see that. I, uh, had felt bad for Richard Stanley. And so when he came back and worked with Spectre Vision for his, you know, big triumphant return to film, uh, and he did uh, Color Out of Space with Nicolas Cage in it, which is a really good film, I was very excited. So I gave that high praise because it was a good film. I gave high praise to the documentary. So those reviews are on my channel currently. Now that said, uh, what ended up happening is it came to light that there have been accusations against Richard Stanley about domestic abuse and bad, like physical abuse. Uh, so, you know, I am not the person to say that it's true or not true. That would have to be within the courts or whatever. But what did end up happening from it is that Spectre Vision has actually cut ties with Richard Stanley. Now, I've seen arguments on two sides online about this saying, I'm done with Richard Stanley stuff. I will never watch anything Richard Stanley. I will not support this guy. And then people on the other side saying, you know, his personal life doesn't have anything to do with my enjoyment of film and I'll still watch his films and I would still watch films that he would put out. So I'm going to look at this from both sides. Now, first I'm going to look at it from the side that I would go with, which is, and that's not to say that I condemn the other side because I don't, because I'm going to look at it from that other side in a minute. But the side that I would go with is I'm not interested in really supporting Richard Stanley anymore uh, because I, it makes me, it doesn't make me feel good to be involved with that. Honestly, it makes me feel a little bit icky, a little bit, you know, kind of wrong in a sense, but that's just me. Well, there are other people, but, but this is my personal opinion on it. So my thought is if there's a new Richard Stanley film that does eventually come out, which if there, if it does, it won't be with Spectre Vision. Uh, I'm not interested in seeing it. I won't. And part of the reason being, there's so many films out there that are on my list, have been on my list to watch, that it's not going to bother me that I can't see another Richard Stanley film, honestly. And it'll make me feel fine that I'm not, you know, financially in some way supporting him. And that is one of the arguments that you can throw out there about not watching any more Richard Stanley is that you don't want to give him money. You know, whether that's watching one of his films on a streaming service or purchasing it on Blu-ray or DVD, you know, he does get residuals from that. He does get money from that. So if you don't want to do that, then that makes sense. Don't do that. And I get that because you feel like if you're giving your money to that person, if you're supporting that person in any way, you're kind of saying that what he did is okay and there should be consequences. Obviously, there already have been because Spectre Vision cut ties with him. Now, maybe someone else will work with him. I don't know. So that's kind of my feeling on that side of the argument, which is what I said I would go with. But people's arguments about, you know, what he does and who he is as a person doesn't really concern the art that he makes and me consuming it. And when I look from that, look at it from that perspective, I can understand that. I see that for sure. You know, should we have to be concerned when we're going for something for entertainment? Should we have to be concerned about who that person is who created that and, you know, what they do in their personal life? No, we shouldn't necessarily have to do that because we don't know them. We can't necessarily make decisions on if they have a job or not. Although if enough people do get, 
you know, vocal about it, like I think people did towards Spectre Vision, they'll be dropped. But that isn't to say that Spectre Vision wouldn't have dropped Richard Stanley anyway, just because, you know, you have to look at it from the standpoint of the actual employer. If they have someone doing something like that and they're a business that deals in public image a lot of the times, especially when it comes to pushing films out there, you don't want someone with a bad reputation like that tied to your company necessarily. So that makes sense that they got rid of them. I probably would have gotten rid of them if I was Spectre Vision as well. You kind of don't have a choice in that situation in a way. But anyway, um, the, the whole perspective of, you know, still enjoying the films. Um, yeah, I mean, entertainment is entertainment. You didn't know, you know, if you already own Color Out of Space or you already bought it digitally or whatever, you didn't know at the time necessarily what had happened, who he was as a person. And that's not your fault. So feel free to continually, you know, watch that film. The other thing is these films weren't just done by Richard Stanley. Yes, he wrote and directed, but there were people who acted in it. There were there was another person who he collaborated with in writing it, who actually was one of the person, one of the people alleging the dem the domestic abuse. Um, there are people who worked on the you know cast and crew. You know, there are a lot of people who were involved in the creation of the film. So then it raises the question of because one person involved with the film, even though it's someone very you know in a very big way involved with the film because one person's a bad person does that mean that everyone involved with the film should should suffer in a sense and i think no not necessarily for that reason so that's why i'm saying i see it from that standpoint so i wouldn't judge someone for basically having that opinion now how when i would judge someone is if someone says he can beat his wife or, or girlfriend or whoever all he wants and that doesn't matter to me i don't care that's different because then you're saying your value, your values are messed up, that you're saying that you don't care that someone is beating someone and you would be fine with it. Basically, at that point, you're promoting it, saying, hey, I'm fine with people beating their, their significant others. But I haven't seen anyone say anything that way. You know, I'm sure there's someone out there who's probably just an internet troll saying things like that. But that's when it becomes a problem. But the people, you know, who are saying, you know, I own Color Out of Space, I own Hardware, I own Dust Devil, I own, you know, the Island of Dr. Moreau, even even though his name's not on it. Um, he did part of it. Um, and I'm still going to watch it. Sure, go ahead and do that. You know, it, it isn't necessarily on you to make Richard Stanley act like a good person. It is on his employer tech, uh, potentially, though, to, you know, give him some sort of ramifications for his terrible actions. So... Anyway, uh, that's just my feeling on it. I would love to hear your opinion on where you fall on this. Go ahead and put your uh, opinions and, and comments down in the comments. Keep it civil, though. Nothing, you know, opinionated to the point like name-calling or anything like that. You know, just tell me how you feel. And is there an aspect of this that I missed? You know, is there something else to consider on in any direction? Because I'm always open to listening to other perspectives on these things. So go ahead and put it in the comments. But... Do me a quick favor, though, hit that subscribe button if you can, and you can because it literally takes you a second, and it that's your way to repay me for doing any video you've ever liked on this channel, whether it's this one or another one. Uh, I really would appreciate that. Uh, also hit the notification bell button because that way you'll know whenever I'm putting up another video like this or review video, which I have a ton of movie review videos on my channel, or unboxings, haul videos, stuff like that. So um, just looking to put fun stuff up. That's it. But anyway, thanks for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.